Hello everybody and welcome to another video of Rainbow Six Siege. I can't get enough of this game. The more I play it, the more I absolutely love. And in this video we're going to be playing on realistic mode, which is the hardest difficulty. So three or four rounds and you're dead. And if there's any headshots, game over. And we've also got friendly fire on as well. And this particular mode within Terrorist Hunt is my favourite. Think of this as horde mode, where we have to barricade ourselves in protect ourselves and the hostage basically there are bombs sometimes it's the hostage but this one particular is the hostage and I had an absolutely brilliant game decided to stay in near the hostage which I think is probably a good idea and as we put the barricades up I like to put a little gap in there so I can see through now I'm playing as Kaplan and Kaplan puts these booby traps over doors uh, over roof panels and floor panels and things like that and I also get some barbed wire I'm gonna save at one of these because there are five waves and you can see the amount of enemies at the top it gets harder and harder There is something really satisfying about this game. It's hard to describe. If you haven't got it, I can highly recommend you go out and get this game. I honestly, I play it for an hour or so, then it's enough for me. But then I come back. Uh, the destruction in the, in the in these maps is just fantastic. As you may or may not know, there are 16 characters in at the minute, and each one has their own abilities. Mine, as I said, it is the defense class, which is a little, little bit of a booby traps and things like that. So I've gone with a shotgun. And I'm going to try and stay in these corners. Now as you can see some of these walls are barred up with metal and you get two of those at the beginning and then when you go and re-ammo you get another one. And basically they, the enemy cannot get through these unless they're using thermite on the other side which will blow the wall and kill us on the other side. So we're pretty well defended in here at this stage and stage two is just about to begin. Each stage gets more hectic, more busy and the action ramps up with each level. hardest things when you're in this small room is finding a place to sit because every other angle you're at they can shoot through the door they can shoot through the windows and they can even blow the walls through so you've got to find a little nook and cranny and defend it and uh, a lot of shuffling around with those lot in here and you can hear the enemy now that is a suicide bomber they will run in given the chance and blow themselves up run directly for you so you have to take them down extremely quickly now behind me there's actually a guy who's down and because we've got four enemies left nobody really wants to go out and get themselves killed now because he decided to run off and be outside so it's one of those we need that fifth member but you don't want to die and get him it was his choice to go outside after all you're not hurt don't move accidentally shot my teammate there but it's all right we've got him back up so you can see the health at the top in those bars were all pretty much dare i say it fricked uh one of the classes here actually has put down some body armor which we've already picked up so if we didn't have that body armor probably at least three of us or possibly even all four of us would be dead by now and here we are we're about to go up to the next stage as you can see i like to put a little gap in these wooden barriers just so you can see a little bit through and you don't get an unexpected shotgun blast or a round go firing through and take you out instantly so less and less places to hide at this stage because we've got no more metal barriers left i've got two barbed wires left as you can see in the menu at the bottom and i've only got this one booby trap left you don't get any more so here we are we're going to move on to the next stage Okay. 
You may see a down arrow with a number three on it. That's a marker that I'm actually putting down. It only lasts for three seconds. And it just gives the rest of the, my team a little awareness that I know I've seen something or I think there's something coming this way. I can put the marker down and they can look that way, back me up, do whatever they want. As long as they know that something's coming that way, it's just a quick and easy way without actually having to use your microphone. Not everybody uses a mic, but you really do need it for this game. And if you can get four of your friends on, the game is absolutely amazing. So things are going pretty well, we're at stage 4 or 5 here, this is not bad to say we're unrealistic, as you can see we really are dying up at the top. Uh, I'm going to get this last bit of refill and then that has gone, completely gone, this will give us one more metal barrier and it will replace grenades and things like that if that's your class that you've got. So I'm going to uh, jump out here and I might put some barbed wire down just to try and slow them before they actually get anywhere near us. And of course with the destruction comes danger from above and below and the floor has actually been destroyed by a grenade or anything underneath. So this is something you're going to have to keep an eye on as well. They can shoot you through the floor and they can also shoot you through the ceiling. So got to be looking out everywhere. So here we go. This is going to be round four. We've got 12 enemies left. Whether we make it, well, your guess is as good as mine, but I really did enjoy this game. Very, very highly recommended is the hard mode. shotgun really is effective up close in the multiplayer aspect of it I don't tend to go with the shotguns um, I tend to engage sort of mid to long range there is a sniper class in there but I don't really like it it's not really my thing uh, the assault weapons are really are good now we've got two men down now so this is quite serious uh, they can hold F which means they can't move um, or they can move towards you but the uh, the health bar goes down a lot quickly and they bleed out so they either get their asses over here and we can try and revive them because none of us really want to jump out and as you can see I've gone down but this guy is now going to revive me I was feeling like Rambo then, a little bit gung-ho I had more health than anybody else on the team, so rather than lose a member, it was worth the risk for me just to jump out. So here we are, round five of five. This is the last round on Realistic. We're going to get plenty of Brucey bonus points if we get this. Points make prizes. Prizes make two more operators in the DLC. So are we going to make it? Well, if you've seen the title of this video, that may give you a little bit of a hint on what's about to happen. As again, I'm going to keep saying it, if you haven't played this game, the destruction, all the characters, the gadgets for everything else, it really, really is enjoyable and I will continue to keep playing this. I always go back to it and then go back to squad and vice versa because they're just completely different ends of the spectrum. Anyway, this is round five. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplayers. I shall see you in the next video coming real soon. Bye-bye.